was she ever out of the book. All right. Happy Easter, boys and girls. I'm a rugger. I played rugby for many years. I coach the sport. I love the sport. I'm watching this stuff on NBC Sports Network, okay? These guys suck at calling a rugby game. I'm going to call the rest of this stuff on top of theirs, all right? Listen to what I got to say. I'm not going to talk about numbers and players and all that kind of crap, but listen to how I talk to you about the game, how I explain the game and get you into the game and, and just get you excited about the game. These two dudes can put some, could put 21-year-old Marines to sleep that have been waiting for shore leave for, you know, nine months, and there's chicks in bikinis behind them. See what I'm saying? So I don't know who's calling this World Series out of Japan in 2013, but NBC Sports Network, you need my happy butt on color. This is going to be awesome. We're still waiting for the commercials. Oh, here we go. We're coming into the second half. France is playing South Africa. South Africa's up 7-5 over France. Here we go. South Africa's going to kick the ball. Rocco's going to have to take this kick, and he's looking to put it somewhere that's going to be playable that these guys can get right on top of it. France is just too dominant with their forwards right now. Right in the center of the France's forwards. They take it. Pretty clean transition right there into the back line. We're going to run right into those forwards there. We're keeping it in tight. What France is trying to do is make some space on the outside. Get some one-on-ones. Get some numbers somewhere, some overloads. That's what we call when we have four on three or, or three on two. These big French guys, here we go. We're looking for space. Now, look, he's starting to slow down a little bit. He's looking for his help. He's looking for where his next guy is. Where is he? Doesn't have any help. He takes it down to what's called a ruck. A great time for a break right now. Oh, penalty there. Looks like South Africa gets a little break. And he's gone. Pretty much history. That's how fast this game of sevens is, folks. But what I was getting at with the ruck, then when the ball is on the deck, as we call it, on the floor, that's when you, you have a ruck and there's certain rules that apply. What you really want to do if you have a strong set of forwards is keep that ball up in the air in what we call a maul. Okay, you keep that ball in the maul and you can move down the pitch at a, at a, great, at a great speed using your big guys. Letting the backs get out there, letting the backs real uh, figure out where they're going to try to make their overloads and make their runs. And now we're seeing the glorified replay of just a quick break. I mean, the ball bounces. It's a quick break. It can happen to anybody. It's South Africa just came up on a good one. Heads up play. Bottom line. Heads up play by South Africa. They score. And the conversion's good. South Africa's up now, 14-5. What a game. It, the, the score does not indicate what's going on on the pitch right now. These French guys are putting up a fight. And this is the semifinal of the Cup. There's one more game. The winner of this is going on to play New Zealand, who just crushed Australia. That was a, a game of men among boys there. The All Blacks just firing on all cylinders today. There we go, another kick by South Africa. Taken, looks like, by the forwards again. Up in the pack, we're going to set it into a ruck. Ball comes up out of the ruck, and France is still controlling, but we got a penalty here to France. Looks like hands in by the, by the South Africans. Another little heads-up play. We're going to okie-dokie. And it goes into nothing there, a little ruck. We're looking to set. Just another set piece, just another play on the game. Nice bit of flair. The French have the most flair I have seen in this whole tournament there. A little bit of hands in right there. Refs out of position. All right, he gets it. He's going to call a knock forward. So we're going to have a scrum down here. And that's pretty cool. I mean, the, friend, the, the whole thing with the scrum down, I'm a, like, I'm a, I'm a purist. I played in the days when the, when the tight head, which is what I played, ran the pack. I'm going to tell you when we're touching. I'm going to tell you when we're pausing. I'm going to tell you when we're engaging. Now we rely on the ref for safety measures and everything, and that's great. I mean, there's a lot of guys that got hurt back in the day that I played. I don't really think the ref taking control of it makes it any easier or safer. I really think it, it takes a lot away from the strategy of the game. And look, look how low those guys are getting. It's just incredible. France, he's looking for some help. He doesn't have anybody back there, and and and. With sevens play, they do try to do retreat some to get some help, but that was just incredible. That was too far back. Perez trying to do some, some magic there, but he's only got so much in those boots. France is running out of time. They do have some fresh legs in there, but I really don't see him making it up. He's got a break here. 
No help, no help, and taken down in the field by himself. No help. Look at that. France was trying to ruck over. That's the sloppiest. That's just so sloppy. France took it in, didn't bring it out. That should be a scrum to South Africa. However, there's a there's a penalty there. They're going to call it hands in on Rocco. Poor Rocco. France is looking to set it up here. They don't have any numbers. He's taking it in naked. That's what we call it when you're all alone. Poor pass. Poor, poor pass. Did nothing but, but just bring, bring him like flies to honey, that one did. It was terrible. It was absolutely terrible. Now the French go to short side looking for something, but no help. No pass. No help. He had the man for a moment, short side. They could have scored the try there. They go with the flare, an underhand pass, looking for the short side. Not happening again. They have to go wide side of the pitch now. And it's a bouncer off to the back line. He's trying to look for some help out there. He's got nothing going on. Everybody's flat-footed. There's no help. He's getting mauled by the South Africans now. Just tore apart. Ball South Africa side. Oh, sloppy, sloppy, sloppy. Rest calling over the ball again. South Africa just too aggressive at the ball right now. Oh, and France gets slipping through for a little bit of a try with a little flair there. He's looking for the immediate kick to save time because France is behind now 14-12. They're just one penalty kick away from winning this match and going on into the finals for 2013 in Japan. This is incredible bringing it back this close this late in the game. Now France has that, now, uh, you win it, you kick it. So France has that kick right now and it's all depending on what South Africa does. If South Africa plays a ball control game right now, they've won it, they're done. But if they lose it, they make that mistake. A member of uh, France's 2009 World Cup. South Africa loses possession and makes a mistake. They've got a minute and a half. They've got to hold on to this ball. They cannot let France have it. They've got to control it now for the rest of the game or try to put a go ahead and we're done score up on the board right now. They take it into the forwards and they're not looking too conservative. Running too far back, that's their own 22 meter line. It's just, he's, he runs into nothing. He's looking for some help now. We got the ruck going on. Looks like South Africa's going to win this ruck handily. Set it up, set it up now. Look for some help out there. You can't put the boot to it. You cannot give the ball back. They're looking to hold on to the ball. Just no mistake rugby at this point. You know, keep keep possession. Oh, and it looks like South France has a penalty here. And they're going to take advantage of it. Oh, they're coming up to the, they're, they're at right outside the 22 meter line now. They're looking to do it. They're just mulling around in the middle. South Africa's got to keep them out for 30 seconds. Ref, let's play, go on for injury time. And another stoppage is, oh, we got a knock forward by the French right there. Oh my goodness, how can you, oh my goodness. If you're a French player right now, you just gotta be like, dude, you're shooting the boot tonight. How could you knock that ball on? Here we go. It's a sloppy little pass, but he can pick it. Oh, there it goes. Off the fingertips. Forward it goes. Not gone by France. That's a South African put in at the scrum. One, we're out of regulation time. This is going to be the last set piece of the play of the game. All South Africa has to do is boot it out of bounds. They win 14-12. My goodness, I've got a heart condition. I can't call these kind of games. South Africa wins it. 14-12, South Africa advances to the finals against New Zealand All Blacks in 2013 Japan World Series. NBC, hire my ass.